WWE founder Vince McMahon resigns amid sex trafficking allegations. Lawsuit filed by a former WWE employee. Janelle Grant who worked at the headquarters of the wrestling behemoth McMahon founded. McMahon has denied the allegations and said he is prepared to defend himself in court. But in a statement Friday, McMahon said that he has resigned from his role as executive chairman of TKO, the parent company of WWE, following of sexual assault, trafficking and physical abuse. The 78-year-old faces multiple accusations, including forcing Grant into a sexual relationship to keep her job and sharing pornographic photos and videos of her with other men, including WWE staff. In a statement Friday McMahon said that, Out of respect for the WWE universe, the extraordinary TKO business and its board members and shareholders, partners and constituents, and all of the employees and superstars who helped make WWE into the global leader it is today, I have decided to resign from my executive chairmanship and the TKO board of directors, effective immediately. TKO Group Holdings has not commented on the allegations. One disturbing incident in the lawsuit detailed an alleged sexual assault among Grant, McMahon and Laurinaitis that occurred at WWE's headquarters in 2021 the two men allegedly pulled Grant behind a locked door forcibly restraining her. As she begged them to stop, one of the men allegedly said to her, no means yes. In a statement to CNN on Thursday, Grant's attorney, and Callis, said the lawsuit sought to hold accountable two WWE executives who sexually assaulted and trafficked plaintiff Janelle Grant as well as the organization that facilitated or turned a blind eye to the abuse and then swept it under the rug. It is not surprising that Vince McMahon is famous for using women as a commercial commodity and always trying to make her appear as a trophy for strong men to fight to get her as sexual using. His story will be a new series for the victory of the feminist Me Too movement. And it is very easy to prove his whims and indulgence in terrorizing and humiliating weak women who were driven by the need to make a living and whose unfortunate luck is to fall into the clutches of this wolf. Attempts by media to reach Laurinaitis previously did not yield a response he led the organization for decades and was familiar to wrestling fans around the world. The former wrestler used scripted matches, celebrity wrestlers and glitz to appeal to TV audiences, with revenue boosted by pay-per-view events such as WrestleMania. One of his iconic on-screen moments was in 2007 when he started a feud with Donald Trump. and other as Jon Stewart, Kim Kardashian, Arnold Schwarzenegger. And so on Vince McMahon is good at turning celebrities into something he can profit from, so how can he, from his position of power and authority, leave vulnerable girls in their career start who aspire to a little money and are attracted to deceptive lights.